guys, it's Molly here again, and I bought your clothes. I stole this idea from another YouTuber who also loves bees. Her name is Busy Bee Karis. I mean, her name is Karis, but her username is Busy Bee Karis, and she's from Wales, and she's so stinking cute. I'm gonna link her channel down below. Quite a few months ago, she does like a lot of fashion videos and quite a few months ago, she did a video where she bought subscribers clothes. And I was like, that is such a cute idea. She's like, I feel like a little bit more of a medium, which I feel like is like a, uh, an easier size to buy. But I ended up quite a while ago tweeting out and like posting on Facebook and Instagram for you guys to send me your Poshmark and Depop shops because I wanted to stock your stores and buy your clothing and it took a lot of sorting a lot of looking through bless my assistant Lisa thank you <laughs> that's very kind of you <laughs> and then Poshmark I we made three purchases which is not enough to make a video and then Poshmark like locked me out and was like we need you to verify that you're actually Molly Burke making these purchases send us your passport and I was like I don't think so. Um, so we moved over to Depop. So we have three from Poshmark and a, two from Depop. I'm gonna link the girls' stores down below so you can shop them if you want as well. Hopefully I can find them. One of the annoying parts, I didn't do this as a like, how easy is it to shop on these websites because I wouldn't have been able to do it. It was just so confusing already just trying to find sizing. Um, so Mesa was the one to like look through the stores and she would like, you know, she knows my style, so she'd be like, oh, there's this, and she would describe it to me, I'd be like, yes, no, let's check it out. Um, but there was like, I think, was it on both of them, or mainly Poshmark, where it was like, the sold items and the not sold items were all mixed together? Yeah, Poshmark. Way to go, Poshmark, that's a silly design. So dumb. So there were so many times when we saw a cute item, and then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, there's this, oh, it's sold. Sold. And the sold sign is like really tiny. And so I feel like what Poshmark should do is make the algorithm, once they get sold, push those items to the bottom. So you can still see like, oh, past items that store sold. So you can like get an idea of the style if they don't have a lot of current things available, but they're not like mixed in. There was a pair of size six, which I'm a size five, but I can wear a size six shoe, um, galaxy print vans. And I really wanted them. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna get them. Sold, I was very upset. But that's besides the point. Let's just jump into it. That was my attempt at a jump, but I'm sitting, so it didn't work very well. I'm gonna start with my favorite. I'm really excited about this. I was trying to mix like clothes and accessories and I ended up getting only one accessory and the rest clothing. But I'm gonna start with the accessory because I'm so excited about it. It was definitely the most expensive, but compared to what the retail price would be, I feel like I got a good deal. Um, it's just so my aesthetic and so my style and I know I'm gonna get so much use out of it. It's really good quality. I think it was $60, which I feel like is really good because the condition is pretty much brand new. And that is this Rebecca Minkoff handbag. It came with the dust bag as well as like a little authenticity card inside of the bag. And the girl who sold this was so freaking sweet. She said, this is the first sale she's made on Poshmark, which is really cool. I'm so excited that I could be your first sale. I mean, I ordered it and this video took a long time because some, you know, it's different people send things out at different times. So some people took a lot longer to send their stuff out than others. But like literally three days after I sent the order in, she like emailed through my website was like, I saw, I just saw the order now. I'm so sorry. I haven't shipped it out. I'm going to ship it out on Monday. And I was like, girl, don't worry about it. Like it's fine. Like she was so cute. And then when I did receive it, it was like, she stuffed the bag with tissue paper so it wouldn't like collapse and she wrote a big card, and she included gift cards for Starbucks for me, which, spoiler, I've already used it up, and PetSmart for Gallup. Like, she was just so freaking sweet, so thank you. Okay, you guys, look how me this crossbody is. It's so me. It smells like a bag. <laughs> There's no, it's no particular smell. So the back has like a back slip pocket, which is where the PetSmart gift card is. Is that the right way? I mean, it's on the side. There you go. Yep. Hey, oh, yay. it goes that way? Yeah. Okay, PetSmart. I'm trying to be snazzy and cool. Um, I think on the listing and in the letter, she like made sure to let me know that there's like a scratch on the inside of this pocket or something like that. And I was like, 
I mean, even if it was on the outer side, like that goes against my body, you know? Um, and then it has this like really cool large zipper detail and like O-ring. The one thing I don't like, and this is totally like a personal aesthetic, is I just don't like this really long hanging um, like leather piece. So that is an easy fix. I'm just gonna cut it off um, and have it just be like the O-ring. The only reason I don't like it is because I feel like it'll, it's so easy to get it like ratty. And also I'm so short that by the time this is like a crossbody, this is gonna be hanging past my knee. But I'm gonna open her up. Oh, wow, that was harder than it should have been. And then there's this like front pocket here, which has the like Rebecca Minkoff authenticity card. It has some tissue paper. And then in here, she stuffed it with tissue paper. She's so, so cute. And then there's the crossbody strap inside. So I'm gonna try this on. And I think I'm gonna grab some scissors and just cut off that long leather piece now some of you are gonna be like oh my god what are you doing cutting it but you know to each their own Ta -da! goodbye all right i don't know personally i like that aesthetic more what do you think mesa I have no opinions. Okay. <laughs> You're like, that is not my aesthetic in any way, so. <laughs> one has tassel, one has not. <laughs> I just feel like it's like a I've cleaner observed. look. Hmm. Yeah, that's the shortest and it's still like pretty long. Cute though. Can you see? Really cute. Right? I want it. Can yeah. I, I'm sorry, we can have an apple. <laughs> Um, you want it? I'll definitely be borrowing that one, Molly. Yeah? I love that one. Yeah, me too. It's perfect. Right? Yeah. It's so cute. It's so my aesthetic. I'm so glad I bought this. I yeah. love it. And it's really roomy, too. Like, there's so much space to put stuff in with all the pockets, too. Oh, my God, I love it. This is what I'm definitely going to be getting the most use out of, for sure. Yay! Thank you for selling me your bag. <laughs> and thank you for the Starbucks gift card. That got me a lot of caffeinated mornings. All right, next. Let me grab this. This one was really cute because she specifically like tweeted the link to her store and was like, I think you'll like a pink sweater. It's like the pink sweater that's on my store. It's really soft. So obviously I had to buy her recommendation and I got the pink sweater. So it's from Francesca's, which if you don't know, it's kind of, Francesca's is like a chain in the U.S., but feels like a boutique. Would you say that's accurate, Mesa? I do not know what it is. Okay, it's like a <laughs> chain that feels like a boutique, I think, I think. I'm Canadian, I'm new to America. I've only been to Francesca's like two or three times in my life, so I feel like that's what it is. Um, but this is the sweater. It's. Does it look like it's like inside out, Mesa? Is that the yeah. aesthetic of it? I guess. Sorry, I'm bad with my eyes. I, I know I can see things, but I don't know things like you do. <laughs> like, Mesa's less with the fashion. Yeah. <laughs> when it's I like fuzzy. <laughs> when I first met Mesa, I was like, what do you wear? Because, you know, I'm so into clothing. So yeah. I asked these questions to new friends, and she was like, Jeans and black tank tops from high school. And I was like, <laughs> we're going shopping. Get in the car. <laughs> and she at the time was using like, she had lost her purse. Yeah. So she was using an evening clutch as her <laughs> daily bag. <laughs> I forgot about that. Do you remember the dark times, Mesa? I do. I still like my black tank top and jeans, but now I just wear high-waisted jeans. Things have progressed a lot. <laughs> But she, I, I forced her to buy so many cute clothes, yeah. and she does wear them. And I she's, do. And now I'm almost like offended because she'll like come in some days, and she's in a new outfit, and I'm like, "Where'd you get that? <laughs> we didn't buy that together. I didn't know we picked that out." And it's like cute. I'm like, "Oh my god, you like flown the coop and yeah. you just blossom." She taught me how to fly. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway, so you've come so far. Is all I'm saying. Thank you. Um, so it's a baby pink again. You guys know my aesthetic. Ooh. It's an outfit, right? Yeah. <laughs> you said that's so Canadian. It's an outfit. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> an outfit. <laughs> Editor, play 
back the tape. It's <laughs> no fit. The other day, a bunch of you were commenting on one of my videos, like being like, oh my God, when she says sorry, I remember she's Canadian. I laugh every time she says it. And I'm like, you laugh? Like, you called me to tell me how mean it was. Didn't that happen? Yes. You were like, they're being mean. I was like, they said I say sorry. <laughs> they're being mean. They say they laugh when I say sorry. And that's rude. Because it's just how I pronounce it. It's my accent. It's Aww. mean. They're they laughing say, with you. No, they're not. I don't laugh when I say sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. I <laughs> So what size did I get this in? Is it small or extra small? Small. Small. Okay, I thought so. It seems like a little bigger than an extra small, but also I think it's probably an oversized sweater anyways. So I'm going to try that on. And she also included like a pack of scrunchies. You guys are so cute. It fits great. Like if they hadn't, like if I was in store and they, because some clothing lines started a small, which is unfair. But um, if they like didn't have an extra small, and it was like a brand that started in a small, it was sold out in the extra small. I would buy this size. Like, it's, I mean, it's a sweater, you know? Like, it's meant to be comfy anyways. I feel like it fits me really well. It's definitely my aesthetic. Oh, I like that it has like a stitch in the back. Can Ooh. you see the stitch? You can. I feel like that adds just like a bit of a, a bit of a something. Wait, let me put my purse with it. Let me make my outfit happen. What do you think? Cute. Mama. So I got this like fluff, like soft pink sweater and then yes. look at it goes with the bag. Lovely. It's like a whole little pink yes. outfit. Love it. I think it's great. Okay, next, this one was really cute because she tweeted the link to me like a few days after my initial tweet because I waited a couple days before I started looking at the stores because I wanted to give people time to tweet them um, and send them in. And so she had like tweeted, she's like, I made a Poshmark just for this video. I hope it's not too late. So she like didn't have a Poshmark and then put some stuff up that she thought I'd like for me to be able to look through. I have a feeling based on the clothing that she had that she's younger, like maybe like mid teens, like early to mid teens. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. I mean, I wear clothes that early to mid-teen girls would wear. Um, so I ended up picking this. What's it say again, Mesa? Even on my worst day, I'm still killing it. I thought it was like cute and positive. There's like, I think a little bit of the stuff is rubbing off, maybe? Yeah, like the, it's like a scratchy, like the words are kind of cracked, but it kind of is cool. Look I was gonna to say, me. I feel like it just gives it that worn look. I will say it's so soft. Like if I was in store and I had felt this, I would have wanted to put it on my body. Rue 21 is my jam. That was Is more... that where it's from? Yep. That's where I used to shop when I was in like middle and high school. I don't think I've ever been to a Rue 21 because we don't have them in Canada and I feel like I'm too old for it now. But I mean, this is super soft and I know it's like a well-priced store, which I think is great. It doesn't say the size on the tag, but I would say it's an extra small or a small. I know that I only bought things that were either extra small or small. So it's definitely one of those. All right, I'm gonna put it on. What do you think? Super cute. I like that it's, like I said, like a little positive thing. It's, I really love the like fit of it cause it's not, it's not cropped, but it's not full length, which is a short girl is really good for me. It's not boxy, but it's not fitted on the torso, which I really like. And then the sleeves are tight. I feel like it's like a really, really comfortable top. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, you just kind of can't go wrong. I also like the neckline that it's like a basic neckline, but it's not like a tight, you know, like it's not a tight crew neck. It's kind of just like, yeah, I mean, I feel like this is, if I had seen this in store, I probably would have bought it just because I like think the phrase is cute and it's comfortable and it's soft and it was probably well-priced when it was at full price. Win! All right, once we got down to being locked out of Poshmark after this purchase, um, it, it sucked because we had found like another cute like floral black and white crop top that we wanted to get and some other things, but we were locked out. So um, we moved on to Depop and it was trickier because there was just a lot less Depop links sent in than Poshmark. 
I will also say that, I mean, when you buy, this is my first time ever buying off Depop or Poshmark. Um, I've never like bought um, like pre-owned clothing that way. And I'm not a big thrifter because I just genuinely, I just don't have the patience. But what I will say is, you know, just like when you're buying from a thrift store, you know, things are gonna come. Sometimes they have like a smell of somebody's home. Because everybody has like, everybody's family and home have like different smells. So, I mean, it's just, it's easy. You just throw it in the wash. That's it. And it becomes fresh again. The next thing I got was this blue dress. And I remember we found this in a small. And I think it was Charlotte Russe, which is also, I believe, like an inexpensive kind of teen store. We don't have it in Canada, so I've also never been to Charlotte Russe. Is that where this is from? Yes. I have such a good memory. Go me. So, okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just basic. I'm gonna try it on. Do you have any opinions, Mason? I think it, it does look great on you. The straps are like, it's for someone just slightly taller with taller shoulders or something. It's so difficult to have the straps fit right. Like, they need to be fit. But it, yeah, it does like, look good, like. As a short girl, my height is in my legs and I have a, I'm very short-waisted. So yeah. that means like my torso is the short part of me. So with dresses and rompers, I constantly have an issue of being like, this is made for somebody two inches taller for, than me. Yeah. This is probably only somebody like an inch or two taller, an inch. Yeah. But sometimes the straps will literally come up to my ears. And I'm like, that's not right. Um, I will say it's nice because if you wanted to, I mean, I wouldn't because I almost never wear a bra. I don't know why I'm even wearing one day. But um. If you wanted to wear this without a bra, you could. But also, for the girls who need a bra and like can't go braless, the straps, the way it's constructed, it hides your bra straps, which is really nice. You know, some dresses you can't go braless. Even like all down the back, it hides the strap well. I think, right? Yeah, there's a little peak on one side, but you can always you adjust can it. That. Yeah. So I feel like you know, and I'm sure again, like full price, it was probably inexpensive, which is great to have that option um the length is like i'm wearing my leggings i couldn't be bothered but the length is good it's like to my knee oh, it's surprisingly nice though the top is lovely yeah mm -hmm. i think it's a nice detail on like a other an otherwise kind of simple plain dress yes that's lovely yeah very very nice fits well it's comfortable good one all right, the last store was like very Japanese style. So I don't know if these things were like bought in Japan or what, but it's like very like kawaii Japanese vibes, which I'm super into. I love that style. I think it's so cute and fun. Um, and it was crazy. This package took the longest to get to me and I purchased one item. And the girl sent me like every item she had had on her store, which is like really sweet and un totally unnecessary. So let's get into it. This I did not buy, but I think is probably my favorite thing I got. I hope it fits me because I think it's really cute and I have no idea what it says, but it's an egg shirt. It's a t-shirt, <laughs> has eggs on it. And then what I am assuming is Japanese writing. Yes. So somebody please comment below and let me know what this shirt says. But I think it's super cute and I think it says something about eating. Oh, look at you, Miss mm -hmm. I know Japanese. Wow. Watch, someone's gonna comment and be like, actually, uh, puzzle say that. Hey, wait, is this the egg one? Okay, so this is the item that I'd actually bought and I'm gonna try it on with that egg t-shirt and you're gonna see why now. Cute. It's a little egg skirt and you guys if you know me, you know I don't really like eggs at all, which is why it's funny that I bought this But I just think there's something really like cute and fun about it And I think it would look fun with my egg shirt. So I'm gonna try this on This is the skirt which fits me. It's a size small. Does it look okay? Is it like it's really cute? I actually just really love this t-shirt. It's comfortable. It's easy. It's like quirky and cute um, but I do, I, I like the skirt. I think I would wear it at least for an Instagram. Yeah. The whole outfit is like adorable. With your pink hair too, it goes so it's well. It's really fun. It's very Instagram. Very anime. 
I have to um crop this. I think if I crop it, I could wear it like with the skirt easier, but it doesn't work tucked in and it doesn't work untucked and I can't really tie it because it's not big like it's not big enough to tie. I guess I could like do that. All right, so definitely a big fan of this t-shirt and you will definitely be seeing this cropped and this egg skirt on Instagram sometime soon. She also sent me this strawberry skirt, which is the exact same as the egg skirt, so I won't bother trying it on. It's a slightly different material, but it's the exact same like shape, so I won't bother trying that on, but um, super cute as well. And I was debating for a long time between the eggs or the strawberries. I ended up going with the eggs because I thought they were like a little more unique than strawberries. Like I feel like I could find a strawberry skirt, but I, I've never seen an egg skirt. So she also sent me these like pink, Ooh. right? They're pink. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was commenting on the, what they were. <laughs> I, just, I just forget. Like I like try to remember what people tell me about things, but sometimes I forget and then I say things wrong blindness you know <laughs> hashtag relatable <laughs> um so they're like pink short short overalls there is not a dang hope my thigh would fit in this so i won't be trying these on and they will be getting passed along to one of my less hippie friends <laughs> and i don't mean less hippie in like the like hippie way i mean less hippie in the physical like literal hips that bear children yeah um, and then the final thing, which I had also debated on buying before deciding on the egg skirt, is this pink and white gingham dress, right? It's pink and white gingham? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it like cinches at the waist and flares out and it has these little frilly straps, open shoulders, little poofy sleeves. So I think this is super cute. It's not lined, so I worry about it potentially being see-through but I am gonna pop this on and we'll check it out. I feel like this will look cute on somebody. I'm just not the somebody, you know? It does look cute on you, but it, it isn't you. It's like too widely spaced, the features, if that makes like, sense. Again, this is like the like truly, I would have to be a couple of inches taller for those, which obviously I can get them tailored. I tailor a lot of my clothes as short girl, like tailors are your best friends. Um, I like that it cinches at the waist. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this would look really cute on a lot of girls. It's just on my body. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't flash on me. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, I've tried on everything I had to try on. Thank you to everybody who took the time to send me their Depop or Poshmark links. Thank you to the girls who sent me their pieces and who took the time to like ship it and write letters and like send little gifts. It was very sweet. I really enjoyed this. Thank you to Karis for inspiring me to do this and giving me this idea. I think it was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you want to see more fashion content. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that every Tuesday and Saturday when I upload, you're a part of the early squad because when you are, I